Hey there, folks. It's your favorite cousin, Vinny Gambini, coming at you with another no-holds-barred breakdown. Now, let me ask you something. What happens when the people running the show, the ones who are supposed to tell the truth, start bending it, twisting it, and straight up making shit up? Well, you get the circus we're going to talk about today. Congress, the House managers, the Senate, it's like a freaking soap opera, except nobody's good looking and everybody's lying. So grab a seat, because I'm about to break down the bullshit piece by piece. And trust me, there's a lot to unpack here. We're exposing the lies, the bullshit, and all the dirty tricks straight out of Congress that makes your blood boil. And let me tell you, there's a lot of crap to sift through thanks to Chris Dallas and Celebrity Recreations for putting this together. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Because trust me, the truth ain't gonna spread itself. Now, before we get started, I gotta give you a heads up. There's gonna be some F-bombs in this video. Yeah, I know, shocking, right? So if you're the type who gets all bent out of shape about a little colorful language, do yourself a favor, change the channel. I'm serious, no hard feelings. Now, for the rest of you who stick around, let me explain something. These F-bombs ain't just for show. They're part of the package, all right? I'm Vinny Gambini. If you've seen my cousin Vinny, and if you haven't, what the hell's wrong with you? Go rent it, stream it, whatever. It's the best lawyer movie ever made, period. And if I didn't talk like this, it wouldn't feel right. It wouldn't be Vinny. This language is how I get shit done, in court and in life. You take it out, and it's like taking the cheese off a of pizza. What's the fucking point? So, with that said, buckle up, sit tight, because what we're about to dive into is going to blow your fucking minds. This ain't just your run-of-the-mill political scandal. No, this is a full-blown three-ring circus starring the Democrats, their fake fucking evidence and a media that's more biased than a Yankees announcer calling a Red Sox game. So grab your popcorn, or better yet, a stiff drink, because we're about to expose one of the biggest piles of bullshit ever shoveled onto the American public. First things first, let's talk about evidence, or in this case, the lack of it. Trump's lawyer comes out swinging, saying, and I quote, we have reason to believe the House managers manipulated evidence. Manipulated. Evidence. Let that sink in for a second. This ain't some small claims court, folks. This is an impeachment trial. You'd think these guys would have their shit together, right? Wrong. Let me spell it out for you. They show this fucking tweet that's supposed to be their smoking gun. The big aha moment where they tie Trump to the insurrection. But guess what? The date on the tweet is fucking wrong. Yeah, you heard me. The fucking date is wrong. January 3rd, 2020 instead of 2021. Now, I don't know about you, but when your evidence can't even get the fucking year right, Maybe it's time to pack it up and go the fuck home. But wait, it gets better. They put a blue check mark on the account, making it look verified. Problem is, the account ain't verified. Never was. These fucking clowns just slapped a fake blue check mark on there like it was an arts and crafts project. Are you fucking kidding me? Who the hell do they think they're fooling? If I tried to pull this shit in court, I'd be left out of the room faster than you can say objection. But these guys, they're getting a round of applause from the fake fucking media. It's a fucking joke. No, scratch that. It's a fucking insult. This ain't just sloppy work, folks. This is deliberate fucking deception. And the fact that they did it so badly, that just makes it worse. I mean, at least put in some effort if you're going to fucking lie to the entire country. Next, we got this little masterpiece of stupidity. One of these so-called experts gets up there and starts screaming about how Trump supporters were calling in the cavalry. You know, like an army, ready to storm the Capitol with pitchforks and torches and God knows what else. But here's the thing. The tweet didn't say cavalry. It said Calvary. You know, like the place where Jesus was crucified. Faith, peace, love, all that good stuff. Now, I ain't no theologian, but even I know the fucking difference between cavalry and Calvary. One's a military term, the other's a religious symbol. But apparently these fucking clowns missed that day in school. So what do they do? They twist it, of course. They turn a tweet about Christian faith into some kind of call to arms. And they expect us to just nod along like a bunch of idiots? Get the fuck out of here. You don't need a law degree to see through this shit. Hell, you don't even need a GD. All you need is a pair of eyes and a fucking brain that works at least half the time. Now let's talk about video editing. Oh, these guys are masters at this. They took Trump's speech and sliced it up so fucking bad it's like they were trying to make a ransom note. They cut out entire fucking sentences, rearranged words, and turned a speech about peace and patriotism into some kind of declaration of war. Here's what Trump actually said. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Peacefully, patriotically. Those are the key words here. But do they include that part? 
Fuck no. They chopped it out faster than a bad scene in a fucking B movie. You know why? Because it doesn't fit their little narrative, that's why. If I pulled this kind of stunt in court, the judge would throw my ass in jail for contempt. But these motherfuckers get a standing O from the media. It's disgusting and it's fucking criminal. And here we go, folks. The fight like hell line. The one-liner these fucking geniuses built their whole damn argument around. They plastered it on TV, repeated it like parrots, and acted like it was Trump's declaration of World War III. But here's what they conveniently left out. Context. Yeah, you know that thing where you actually listen to the whole fucking speech instead of just cherry-picking the parts that fit your story? Here's the reality. Trump was talking about fighting for your beliefs, fighting to make sure your voice is heard legally, peacefully, the way the system's supposed to work. He wasn't telling people to grab pitchforks and storm the fucking Capitol like a mob out of a freak show movie. He said, and this is important, the best is yet to come. You know what that is? Optimism. Patriotism. But these clowns? They cut the tape right before that and made it sound like he was yelling, charge on the steps of the Capitol. Let me ask you something. If I walked into court and said my client fought like hell to clear his name, do you think the jury's going to hear that and go, oh, he must mean he took a baseball bat to the prosecution? Of course not. Fight doesn't always mean violence, you fucking morons. It means standing up for what you believe in, not taking shit lying down. But these guys, they fucking twist it, they spin it, and they serve it to you on a silver fucking platter like it's the goddamn gospel truth. It's pathetic. And you know what the craziest part is? They're banking on you not watching the whole speech. They know if you see the full thing, their argument falls apart faster than a cheap lawn chair. But they don't care, because it's not about the truth. It's about the narrative. It's about making Trump look like the bad guy no matter what. And that, my friends, is what we call bullshit. Ah, yes. The very fine people lie. The golden oldie of anti-Trump propaganda. These people trot this out every chance they get, like it's their get-out-of-jail-free fucking card for every argument. But here's the thing. They know it's a lie. They've always known. Trump said clear as day, I'm not talking about the neo-Nazis and white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. Condemned totally. That's his exact quote. But do they ever show you that part? Fuck no. Instead, they play this chopped up clip where Trump says there were very fine people on both sides and they act like he's endorsing white supremacists. What he was actually talking about were regular people, folks protesting the removal of a statue, people who had nothing to do with neo-Nazis or hate groups. But nope, let's lump everyone together and slap a big old racist label on them. Makes for a better headline, right? Look, you don't have to like Trump. Hell, you don't even have to fucking agree with him. But at least be honest about what he said. Twisting his words into something they're not? That's not journalism. That's propaganda. And the fact that they keep dragging this out, knowing damn well it's a lie? That tells you everything you need to know about these people? All right, let's cut the crap here. The demo rats don't hate Trump because of what he says. They don't hate him because of what he does. They hate him because he doesn't play their fucking game. He doesn't kiss their asses, take their bribes, or follow their rules. He's not part of their little club, and that scares the shit out of them. Think about it. For decades, these people have had the system rigged in their favor. They control the media, they control the narrative, and they think they control you. But then Trump comes along, and suddenly, they're not in control anymore. Suddenly, people are waking up, asking questions, and demanding answers. And instead of dealing with that, they'd rather destroy the guy who made it happen. They hate him because he's a threat. Not to the country, not to democracy, but to them, to their power, their influence, their cozy little system, and they'll do whatever it takes to take him down. Lie, cheat, steal, it doesn't fucking matter. As long as Trump's out of the picture, they're happy. But here's the thing about lies. They don't last forever. And the truth? Oh, the truth's got a way of catching up with you. All right, before we wrap this up, let me explain something real quick. You're probably sitting there thinking, Vinny, where's the video? Why aren't you showing us the actual footage? And let me tell you why. First off, copyright. Yeah, that pesky little thing that means if I show somebody else's video, I'm getting hit with a strike faster than you can say objection. YouTube don't mess around with that shit, folks. Especially now that they've monetized us. Yeah, we're now monetized, folks. After so many years of them denying us monetization because they said our channel was harmful, they finally let us off that chain. Now that Trump won, we finally get the green light, so I guess we are not harmful anymore. Second, and this is the big one, if I included the video, this thing would be longer than a day in traffic court. There's no point in dragging you through every second when I can just lay it out for you, Vinny style, nice and simple. But for those of you who want the quick recap, here's what the video included, the lies. They came straight out of Congress, specifically from the House impeachment managers during Trump's second impeachment trial. 
These geniuses, led by Jamie Raskin, presented manipulated evidence, edited videos, and out-of-context quotes to make Trump look like the devil himself. It all went down in the Senate trial, where the evidence got picked apart by Trump's lawyers, exposing the bullshit for what it was. And let's not forget the fake fucking media. Oh, they took these lies and ran with them, blowing them up into this massive narrative that had half the country ready to riot. So there you go. The video in a nutshell. And frankly, me narrating it for you like this? Way better than watching that circus act in real time. Trust me. So here's the deal, folks. This ain't just about Trump. This is about truth versus lies. It's about a system so corrupt, so broken, it'll do whatever it takes to crush anyone who dares to stand up to it. But here's the thing about lies. They don't last. The truth? Oh, the truth's got legs, baby. And it's coming for these crooks like a fucking freight train. If you liked what you heard, and let's be honest, who wouldn't? Smash that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and let us hear what you think in the comments section. And don't forget to share with everyone you know because the world needs to hear this shit. Chris Dallas and Celebrity Recreations write stories like you wouldn't believe. This one's just the tip of the iceberg, folks. Go check out some of his other work and you'll see what I mean. Trust me, you don't want to miss another one. So hit that notification bell and you can thank me later. Vinny Gambini out!